Hi guys, welcome to VRM24.com YouTube channel. Name is Vadim and today I will comment and you will watch the video how to disassemble the ZTE Blade A31. Disassembly has the first difficulty or easy rating in our difficulty classification and will be disassembled by detaching the back cover. We find a hole to pick uh, up the cover made by the manufacturer and open it. Now we remove the battery. It is a removable battery for 3000 mAh and put it aside. Take a crosshead screwdriver Phillips 1.5 mm aka hash 3O and unscrew all screws. Warranty sticker on the screw tell us that the smartphone has not been repaired before us. I see all the screws are the same, black and medium in size. We make sure that we have unscrewed all screws and carefully detach the core. It's on clips, by the way. On the cover there are only antenna contacts. We go down and unscrew the screws with the same screwdriver. I already say in the last video about the fact that some ZTE smartphones on this type have have to peel off this white label with information to get to the bottom cable. I don't know if we will do it or not, but uh, we will see. We detach the cover hiding the subboard on which there are also antenna contacts. The connector of the interboard cable has been disconnected by itself and we disconnect the coaxial cable connector. Uh, okay, we still have a screw securing the subboard. Uh, screwdriver is the same, Philips 1.5 mm, so I screw on screw. Also, vibration motor is soldered uh, to the subboard. We need to either unsolder the wires or detach its body from the frame of the display model. The vibration motor is glued. We call this typing type metallized adhesive tape. And if you know another name, please uh, write us uh, in the comments. Now we can detach the subboard. It's also taped with a metallized adhesive tape. The subboard contains a micro USB port for charging and data transfer, a microphone, a wired vibration motor, and antenna contacts. By the way, the info label does not need to be peeled off because 
the cable connection to the subboard is by connector and not to soldering. Also, we don't need to get this interboard cable. Now we turn to the motherboard and we need to be sure that there is no screws. And I don't see any screws, so we start to disconnect the cables. Let's start with a cable for the side buttons. Move to the cable for the display and disconnect the front camera, which is uh, 5 megapixel resolution. It is uh, too taped, but slightly. Uh, we begin to disconnect the printed circuit board and we forgot about the coaxial cable connector. Ok, there is a little trick. The main camera is glued to the display model frame with a metallized adhesive tape and connected by the connector to the motherboard from the inside. You need to be carefully raise the board and maybe the connector will disconnect like ours on this video. Now remove the rear camera. As I said, it's glued. By the way, it's 8 megapixels resolution. In the display model frame, we have a coaxial cable and airpiece speaker. So, I guess we're done. Thank you for watching. It was a pleasure to comment this video for you guys. And guys, you remember the drill. Watch, like or dislike, subscribe, comments and take care of yourself. Hi guys, thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, please subscribe, share, rate us and see you in the next video.